Alright. So, this is Subsistence. Uh, Metal Gear is my favorite series ever. We tried playing the first game. I was planning on just going in order. It's all fucked up. For no reason. Like, I can play this PS2 game fine, but when I put a PS1 game in there, the recording software is just like, you're done. So, if any technical genius just happens to stumble upon this shit, um help us because if you, you can't play pay, ps1 games or n64 or n6 yeah yeah or that yeah, was, we're just gonna leave it at that yeah we haven't tried anything else but the ps2 runs fine but when you put a ps1 game in there it's super laggy you can't get it going no mm -hmm. signal happens constantly whatever our hop hog is kind of mean so instead of playing my favorite mgs1 game i decided to play the one i figure is the best game which is three yeah let's do it uh, you gotta pick MGS3 because they give you a bunch of camo. Like a bunch of really good camo. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna be skipping all the boring cutscenes, which means the entire talk with the boss at the beginning. Uh, Out the window. After the end of World War II, Skip the, the shit. world was split into two. <laughs> East and West. This marked the beginning of the era called the Cold War. She said, The Cold War marked the beginning of an era which was the best. So then it's like a poem. No. Right. Fuck you. Snake no. can be a poet. No, I let. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna skip all the cutscenes because I mean that's just not an MGS game at that point. <laughs> but there's a point where he jumps. This is like the coolest scene in like any not any MGS game, but it's like the best opening. And then it like jump cuts to like them talking about the mission. I'm just gonna skip that shit. Oh. Um. Paul's never played this game, or an MGS game at all, to be in fact, but I've beaten all, all of the games twice, and I've played through MGS3 more times than I can count without beating it. You can't count higher than, like, 15, maybe 20. It's, no, it's just that I lost count. You should have said that. Hold up, I'm gonna shut up while this cutscene goes. You douchebag. Shut the fuck up. This is important. Put on your mask. Oh, this guy's an asshole. Shh. Fuck you. Don't talk to me like that. Does this panty waste know what he's doing? Oh, well, that's it. Damn. <laughs> no, he doesn't know who this guy is. That's why. He's gonna kill him. So dramatic for no reason. It's gonna hit him in the face. No, it doesn't do anything. Oh, what the fuck? I know. Depressurization complete. Checking oxygen supply. Six minutes to drop off. Opening rear hatch. They speed up the time, so it's like. Oh. Like all of a sudden it's gonna be like one minute to drop off. No one wants you to have to wait six real time minutes. Right there, Harry Gregson Williams. Love that guy. Is that the voice for? No. He does the soundtrack for this game and MGS2, and it's so fucking good. Yeah, it's okay. Oh shit. High altitude launching, I have no clue. Operation? I don't think so. I forgot what it stands for. High altitude landing operation. There you go. Launching? What the fuck? Here we go. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Spread your wings and fly. God be with you. That is so unnecessary. He's just dizzy now. It's fucking sweet. He's dizzy. It's fucking sweet. He's really gonna throw up. 
Uh, what's cool about this game is you can skip parts of the cutscene, not the whole thing, so I can just be like, shut up. <laughs> and it goes right back to this. You can also go in first person during some cutscenes, which is sweet. Like this one coming, it takes a little bit to load. But like, it's all like, whoa, dudes. Can you do it now? No, it, it'll come up in the, on the screen. Oh. Well, let's say in Assassin's Creed, how uh, during the cutscenes they'll give you like button actions to like. Yeah. Well, this is just like a, from a different angle, oh. which looks really cool though. It's like press B to kiss Vanessa, and then you don't, and then she like slaps you. Your mission is to infiltrate Selino Yask in the Soviet mountains, ensure the safety of Sokolov, and bring him back to the West. How long is this going to take? Uh, we'll probably land and then we'll do the end of the episode. Seriously? This is the biggest intro I am just Oh my god. I could skip this one if you want. Or no, I'll, I'll do it when he lands and then I'll skip the codex stuff. Um, because I skipped the story, I'll just kind of say it real quick. Once we've confirmed the rescue, Sokol, I'll stand by at the recovery point. You better say it. Uh, I'll say when he's in the dog. He's not saying anything important. Takes about 20 minutes. He's talking about the full recovery system. Uh oh. Once it's complete, the gunship's arm will latch onto the balloon and pull it up. The full surface to air recovery system. I'm familiar with the theory. Take it easy. It's been combat proof. So, there's this Russian scientist. He's making a bunch of shit. Uh, we sneak in there during the Cold War and steal him back. Is that it? And then, during the Cuban Missile Crisis, Russia backs out, and uh, in exchange for Sokolov, the U.S. military gives him back to avoid a nuclear holocaust, and we're going back in there to get him again. So we're just being some dirty rat bastards. Yeah, and we're not allowed That's to... That's what I like. That's kind of... That's kind of shitty. Look at his parachute. The, oh, par the, part where, goes wrong, the part where he lands is kind of cool, that's why I'm not skipping this. Yeah, he's, when was this made? 2004. This is actually, like, really good for that time. I know. This is, like, one of the best PS2 games. Like, in terms of technical quality and just, like, gameplay and shit. I mean, coming from me, I'm gonna, like, praise, gonna praise the fuck dicks, out of this game. Dick suck this game. 24 seconds. If this game had a dick, I would suck it constantly. The fuck? Mm -hmm. Oh shit, he's getting fucked up. There it goes. This is really over overly dramatic. Look at him. He's he's old now, isn't he? No, he's like in his thirties. I like how his helmet says U.S. Army, and he just leaves it here in the jungle, in a Russian in a, yeah. in a, in a Russian forest. It really isn't a jungle. He literally sat there in that pose for like ten seconds. Ten seconds. Like, who is he impressing? The trees. Yeah. Dude, look, David Hayter's fucking landed right next to us. What the hell is he dropping? His eye, uh, his parachute shit. It's like oh. his his oxygen tank and all that. What happened? What did he drop before? Well, that got caught on a tree. His backpack. He lost it. Oh. It's your first little, like, tutorial thing to go get it. Major. Well, that's later. I was going to say, Major, I've spotted two enemy soldiers. AK You're already killing people. AK-47s and grenades. I can quote this game all day. This is the first one. Do you copy? You're already in enemy territory. Somebody might be listening in. From here on out, we'll be using code names to refer to each other. Your code name for this mission will be Naked Snake. What the I'll fuck? Be because he's got nothing snake. on him. He no. only has a tranquilizer gun. You're not to mention no. your real name. Snake? Well, you don't like snakes? What do you mean? His real name is David Spade. <laughs> oh, this takes place during the 60s, if you didn't know. So there's like no technology. There's not even a soliton radar. I don't know if I'd ever order one which is like a little like bleep bleep thing. That, like, oh. Was... oh, there there is a radar, but it doesn't tell you where they're facing. Wait, is this it a just sucks? Is this a prologue to other games? Yeah, this takes place in 1963. Okay, so you should have said that. Sorry. This will be a sneaking mission. This takes place during the Cold War, which I think is really cool. The fact that you're an American agent and you're sneaking into Russia. This kind of infiltration is the Fox unit's speciality. Which would. In other words, weapons and equipment to procure. Say it. 
because uh, he's gonna say it here. I don't know when he's gonna say it though. It'll like violate international law if they find you. Oh, and you and so then they're, they're gonna kill America if they find you, pretty much. Nice. God, that was a lot of speech. Oh no, that's not even compared to the next ones. They're fucking. That's actually a short codex sequence. Okay. End of the shit. Well, I'm going to, but this game is beautiful as fuck.